Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I want to talk about three terms that I hear people get confused all the time. Uh, this is uh, heart failure, heart attack, and cardiac arrest. People get these terms mixed up all the time. Uh, the news does it, um, and they mix them all together and where it gets confusing for people. So uh, one of the things I hear all the time is he died of cardiac arrest. Okay, we all die of cardiac arrest, okay? So, but I'm gonna just explain that to you um, and I'm gonna give you the terms and I'm also gonna draw on the board. Uh, thanks to my tactical walls board here, chalkboard. I'm not a very good artist, but I'll get the point across for you guys. All right, so we've come in a little bit closer here to my very crude drawing of a heart. This isn't actually what a heart looks like, but it kind of gives you an idea and gives you a little symbol there, so I'm not an artist. So, let's talk about congestive heart failure. That's gonna be our first term we wanna talk about. So, congestive heart failure is where part of the heart is failing. It's not pumping as hard as it should. So, like when we work out, our muscles get bigger, we're able to you know, lift more weights, we're stronger. Well, it's kind of the opposite of the heart. Like this section here is a ventricle. It may get enlarged and doesn't let us pump as well. You may get like an atrium up here, uh, this is the top part of your heart and it may not pump as well so it's not able to pump the blood past that point so like a ventricle here if it's not able to pump that's where the heart is failing then it is going to back up into the lungs this is where we get like the, the fluid in the lungs start building up you start coughing up the pink frothy sputum and so forth so it backs up in the lungs so this part here uh if the atrium starts backing up it's not able to pump hard enough through to get it go into the ventricles and the, to, to the lungs, it starts backing up into the body. So this is where people start seeing the edema in their legs, things like that, where it's backing up. So this is where the heart is failing. So congestive heart failure is the heart is failing. It is not able to pump as well as it should be. All right, so let's talk about the next term. It's gonna be a heart attack. So a heart attack is where we have arteries that feed the heart okay they provide oxygenated blood to the heart so they're actually on top of the heart running through here they're a separate system than what's in our body okay so what happens is blood shoots down and it starts feeding let's say if we got uh, oxygenated blood coming down to this ventral part here the heart pumps and then poof you see blood shoot down but if you get a blockage in one of these arteries here like that blood can't go past this point or it's not as good it slows it down so then you start getting some death of the tissue here because it's not getting enough oxygen, so it starts to die, okay? Now, a heart has zero nerve endings in it, okay? So it doesn't know to tell you that this hurts. So that's where we start getting that crushing chest pain, the left shoulder pain, the jaw pain, the nausea, vomiting, all of those associated symptoms with having a heart attack start occurring because the body's trying to figure out how to tell you that something is wrong right here. So that's when they go in, they usually can do a heart cath or they give you aspirin, things like that. Aspirin is super important to take for a heart attack because now you've got a blockage here, so you're getting clotting, clots build up and if we can get the patient aspirin or you can take aspirin, then it's gonna help here get blood flow past that point. And when they do a heart cath, they actually come in, they put a stent in and it opens back up this artery to allow blood flow back in. It's really cool to watch if you've never seen one. All right, so let's talk about our third and final term here, and it's gonna be cardiac arrest. So cardiac arrest means this is not pumping. Your heart is not pumping. Now, it's either doing one of two things. One, it's sitting still, not moving, not pumping, or it's actually quivering, like it's just sitting there shaking. All these little electrical things are firing, and it's just sitting there shivering, but it's not actually contracting and pumping like it should. So if this is just quivering and shaking, that's where our AED comes in because it fires electricity, boom, shocks it, and resets it and wants it to restart. So it re shocks it, it hopefully will start refiring, and that's what happens when cardiac arrest. So, but because this is not pumping, this is not moving any heart, blood, blood is just sitting here. So when blood is just sitting here, that's where chest compressions are gonna come into effect here. So we're doing chest compressions and we're squeezing the blood out of the heart and we push it down. When you let go, it actually draws blood back into it and we push it back again. That's what's making the heart pump when we're doing chest compressions moving around. So those are our three terms that people often get confused. You have the congestive heart failure where parts of this are dying and it doesn't pump as well as it should. Then you have a heart attack where blood is not getting to a certain section of the heart anywhere on the 
you know, the back side as well. Uh, blood's just not getting in there. And then cardiac arrest is when this is not pumping. So I hope this helped just a little bit. So I hope this video helped. I know I don't do a whole lot of medical uh, things on this channel, more of the, the cool trauma stuff, which is what you guys always want to see. But if you guys want to see some more medical stuff, let me know. Comment below some of the subjects you want me to do a video on, and I'll break out the chalkboard, and we'll start doing those little classroom lessons for you. So make sure you share this video. Uh, some of the contents in this video may absolutely save a life. Could save your family member's life. Could save your life. So thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember the right gear and the right training. Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I want to talk about a few terms that people get confused all the time. Um, I hear it a lot about people confusing cardiac arrest, uh, heart failure. What's the other one I was going to do? All right, so let's talk about the next term. So the next term is, uh, I don't remember. Okay, oops. And then there's actually uh, little arteries that feed the heart. Yeah. Uh, it's probably fruit, uh, sputum. It's easier for you to say. Yeah. 